have an interview today and it is at a child care center to be an assistant director and i've worked in child care all my life um besides photography i've done photography as well and currently that's what i do from home i'm ready to go back into like the work field i miss like just the interaction with people because i'm home all day by myself the reason that like I had um, started working from home is because we, it, well, we had our kids. I mean, they they just turned 10, so yes, it was a while ago, but we ended up having twins. And at the time, um, the income that I was bringing in in childcare, because it doesn't pay a lot. I mean, let's be real. I just felt like with twins at the center, like I was basically working just to pay childcare. In a short time after they were born, um, our son got diagnosed with autism at the age of three. Because of that, um, it, it came with a whole lot of, I guess, extra, you know, things that most parents don't have to go through and the testing and IEP meetings and um, just, you know, ABA therapy, so much, so many other things. And so I ended up staying home for quite some time. But my son is getting to a point that he is doing a lot better. Um, he graduated out of his speech class because he was having speech therapy and all that kind of stuff. And he, he's doing amazingly well. Long story short, I am ready to go back to the work field where I miss like having friends on a, you know, talking to people on a daily basis because this gets boring. I know this is just like a rant. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know where I'm going with this like I, this is just like a spur of the moment um, video and so I'm like completely being awkward I'm doing a Thanksgiving um, thing here at the house this weekend my daughter and son-in-law are inspecting a baby so we're doing like the Thanksgiving dinner here and then a mini gender reveal um, same day is but my daughter just called like two seconds before I turned this camera on and said that the results were in and so she wanted me to call the place to find out what it is so the gender reveal can be a go for sure i think i'm gonna wait until after my job interview um not that it's not exciting but like my thoughts get all over the place sometimes and i'm really just trying to calm down because i already feel anxious because of this job interview and so i feel like once i get like the stress off and I'm done with the review and you get that like just uh relief you know then I can be like super excited about what the baby is I'll see you when I get back I'll let you know how the interview goes and we will find out what this baby is all right so I came back to just kind of tell you like well so you can see what I went with because I was struggling to try to find something to wear and stuff like that I was gonna do like some jeans and like a um, little suit jacket but it felt a little too dressy well not dressy not dressy that's not the word i was looking for businessy and even though it's for like an assistant director position businessy is just not necessarily to in my opinion the best way to go because um it's still a child care field and early childhood involves like getting on the kids level sitting on the floor crawling around with them reading stories being able to bend being able to pick them up you know and i don't think that like dress attire like that is the most fitting i went with a sweater i didn't want to wear any of my own sweaters the great thing about relationships is you get to sneak on their side and wear their clothes because i needed something to wear so i'm doing this like royal bluish navy bluish sweater um i put on <laughs> Well, he's showing on fat rolls, but um, put on these black slacks or whatever. And there's like a little black shirt underneath it. I'm gonna throw on some black boots or whatever. I was gonna wear like a reddish sweater, but then I was like, no, red's kind of strong. I'm gonna go with like a calm color. I put my hair up because I feel like it's a little bit more like friendly, like, you know, whatever, like inviting, friendly, you know, you can see your face, all that kind of stuff, not the, you know, with your hair down and pulled to you, it kind of feels like a little impersonal, but that's just my personal opinion, you know, but I like the hair pulled back and stuff. I think people look more inviting, more bubbly, more friendly that way. I am going to go and like, 
kind of clear my mind a little bit. Yes, I was calling because my daughter um, had some genetic testing done and um, they told her her results were back but she wanted me to call in to get the gender of the baby because we're doing like a gender reveal. What is your daughter's Yes, ma'am. She was having a girl. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm about to cry. Okay. <laughs> that I, I could tell you that. Okay. So I'm going to document that. That you called and we've got it in there. So that is what she is having. All right. Thank you so much. You're welcome, hon. Bye bye. Bye. Oh, it's a girl. <laughs> Oh my God, I'm really about to cry. Why, why am I about to cry? I have a granddaughter. It's just so sweet to like, just know, like, just know. Like, I know that they wanted a boy, but I don't care. And I love little girls so much. <laughs> okay, so I think, um, yeah, I'm ready to go to this interview now. Ah! I got the biggest smile. I'm, oh my God, I'm driving. But I got the job. I'm so excited. And I can just tell she has like the sweetest heart. I'm almost home. This is like, uh, I ain't even got my seatbelt on, but I literally live like less than one minute away from the job. Like I just left out of there, I'm home. <laughs> so that was like really bad. I'm sitting up here vlogging while I'm driving. No seatbelt on, always wear my seatbelt, but I'm just so excited. But it's not worth your life, so don't do that. Like today is like a, a pretty good day. I got two granddaughters. Okay, I'm done. <laughs>